My ex-father-in-law does not understand how a topic pregnancy works. This story is the reason people need to be better educated. I ended up having an atopic pregnancy at 11 weeks. It almost unalived me. I lost two and a half liters of blood. Now, two weeks prior at my mother-in-law's house, I fell out of a chair. My father-in-law flipped out saying I was being careless and that I was going to end up unaliving my unborn child. After the atopic pregnancy, he had the audacity to say to me, What happened? You unalived my baby. He didn't understand how atopic pregnancies are spontaneous and cannot be prevented. I think mine was due to recently coming off the depot shop. My father-in-law is a narcissistic abuser to my mother-in-law. They are now my ex-in-laws because my ex-husband is also abusive. Even while I was in the hospital, two hours after surgery for my atopic pregnancy, my husband called me saying I needed to sign out of the hospital and Uber because we were broke. He never worked. All finances were up to me. I'm happy now with a man who treats me how I deserve and loves me. This story is the reason why I say that people need to be better educated on the female body. Pregnancy, atopic pregnancy, menstrual cycle, especially politicians. Y'all remember a while back when they were trying to ban abortion and there was a man speaking about atopic pregnancy and that man had no idea what atopic pregnancy was. He couldn't explain it. He couldn't understand it. He had no idea what he was talking about. Yet, he's a lead speaker for the entire state and he was fighting to have abortion banned. You should not be able to speak on behalf of the whole state if you do not understand the female body pregnancy, abortion, and a lot of these politicians do not understand it. Therefore, they have no place speaking about it. That's just my opinion anyway. I know a lot of people like her father-in-law. One of my ex-boyfriends could not understand SIDS. A friend of ours had a baby. Nine days later, mom found the baby unalive in the crib. My ex-boyfriend's whole family thought she had something to do with it because they could not understand SIDS. They'd never heard of it. They honestly believed that she did something wrong to cause this to happen to her baby. I was livid. We broke up within a day of that happening because I was so shocked. How could they not understand this? How could they blame her? But these are the same people who run our country.